What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to Crisis of the Planet of the Apes. I have not donned the VR headset for what feels like forever because so much of virtual reality is the same. And yet here comes a game where we have a chance to do something that I have never before experienced. Be an ape. The game has such constant movement and such constant interactivity that I had to share it with you. So we're going to dive in, do a little man see, monkey do, instead of monkey see, monkey do. We're going to become the ape and see if we can learn from them. Big thanks to Fox Next for sending over the review code and sponsoring the video. This one is really cool. So, playing an Oculus. And here we go. I got the touch controllers, and the cool part is that you're always engaged with the game in Crisis of the Planet of the Apes. So I've been playing, obviously, a ton of God of War, as you've seen on my channel, and you're always doing something. And what bothers me about VR is that often it's very passive. It's looking around, it's seeing the sights, and it's not doing a whole lot. But what I really respect here is that you're always active. It's not like a workout game, but yet you're constantly involved. It just strikes a really nice balance, and you'll see it as we climb this crazy wall. Okay, so what I'm trying to do uh, is get up here and pull myself up. And they have a really great sense of movement, weight, and everything in between. Now, I'm playing in a pretty small space, but I like it that way because the game still handles everything well, which is critical. There are two parts of VR that matter to me. Can it be done in a small space? Because I've got an office with a lot of junk everywhere. <laughs> and two, does it make me sick? I get motion sick very easily, and stuff like this can really wreck my mind. Thankfully, being an ape does not wreck my mind, and instead we can just climb around, and it works so well. I love that you can pull yourself up, lower yourself down. I feel like that's a very uh, simian trait right there, right? Doing our little climbing, and I love this whole first person climbing. This feels so good, and like pulling yourself, pushing yourself over the top. Freaking awesome. Now human minds are sick. Humans fear apes. What else is new? That guy is very freaking tall. If all humans are that tall, I'm going to be one tiny little monkey. All right, got to get to this billboard here. And the way you move is also cool. It's, it, it's very uh, ape-like, I guess. Like they're trying to simulate what it would be like to have a, a more, I don't know, more of an animalistic movement, which I think is very cool. Um, all right, so we got to climb this ladder. And you'll see that I'm hitting the bears every so often, but it does not mess with like, it's very one-to-one -one in what I can do, which is so freaking sweet. And like, I wouldn't have shown you this game if this did not work well. It's the fact that this performs so perfectly that I'm like really into this, right? Because this is where it's at. Uh, it's a little bit short in terms of how long the storyline is. It sits between movies two and three. I really like the movies, uh, so that is kind of cool. Uh, but it's this movement and the way the gameplay works that got me. And that's what got me to put back the VR headset. And surprisingly, this one does not make me sick at all. Uh, the first time I ever played VR, that was, uh, I had to leave the event. Um, it did not feel good. But something about this one, the way they have introduced the world, uh, and the way they've incorporated the movement, like I don't feel bad at all. All right, are you ready to attempt this obstacle course? Reach for the stars and away we go. I just think it makes a narrative driven game so much more exciting when you get to like move yourself, like literally physically move yourself through the world. I think it's such a genius idea. I love how you get to reach. It does legit feel like some sort of basic obstacle course and that's freaking cool. And again, this whole like just hanging around doing my thing who's down there in the clouds below i don't know but i'm gonna keep on grinding through this pipeline and now a little drop down Whoop. and they do that awesome cover the field of view thing so that you don't get super sick and these guys what are those banana fingers is that double wolverine what what who are these bad humans either way i think we're we're not in the greatest of shape given the fact that those dudes are Freaking giraffes, and they had what looked to be like claw fingers. All right, gotta get our leap on here. Both hands down, and oh, a nice big leap. Freaking ready to go. Humans take apes bad place, and I'm ready to duke it out. Look at these freaking fists. That's some power right there. Way more power than I have in my little duckling arms. All right, let's get there. I'm moving with speed now. I'm cha 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 chugga chugga chugging out of the tutorial and into the game. Are we ready to take our ape self to the actual freaking world? I've got a bag on my head. This is not cool. Camp's on edge. No kidding. 
been out here 18 months. They want to shoot something. God. No, not me. Get moving. Oh shit, never mind. This Whoa, dumb. language. This piece of shit. Five Dude, language, you're gonna get me demonetized. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm moving. I'm going. What the Thank heck, man? Smart. Moving. All right, jerks. Goodness gracious. I can only do this chugga chugga so fast. I'm not used to walking my hands, all right? Guys are crazy. Crazy here. The world is very pretty, though. I think the game looks super good. Thank you. Pew pew to you. Shooting you the little love arrow because you said I was smart. All right. We're going to just simmy and slide our way out of here. All the way. Look at that. Sideways walk. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Dude. Is this one of those situations where you can get like an early ending two minutes in? The future! My banana kingdom! It's not that way. It's this way! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, run! Go! Go, freaking monkey! Move! 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 No! Ah, no! Run! No! All I get is raspberry jelly on my face. I was just trying to get to my bananas. You guys better have bananas. Are you my banana boy? Are you my banana boy? One of you is going to become my little banana boy after we put you in your place. Language, let's go. Come on. Can't, God, just getting the big, big freaking arm movements. Now I'm showing all my strength. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. You're all jerks. What lies behind the curtain? Is this where my banana kingdom actually lies? Don't point the gun at me. Okay, what's here? A castle. A plate of bananas. It's a girl in a puffy jacket. Why did you hide that behind a curtain? How lame. Whoa, don't look at me like that. I don't have powers. Well, you look promising. Do I now? Dr. You Dad, don't. This one checks out. Do I? Looks like the military did their job after all. You gonna yeah. get me out of here? It took them long enough. Place them with the advanced specimens. I'm advanced. I'm advanced. They like me, don't point a gun at me, I'm advanced. Stand up for me, stand up for me, goodbye. Okay, oh no, that's not oh, what happens oh, when you're advanced. That's very basic, like it's very basic. Give me Oh my hand. god, thank god we're not at the point where like, future VR has pain receptors. Ouch, 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 ouch. Why y'all gotta be so mean? This is one dumbass no, idiot. language and rude. You guys suck, man. I'm out of here. I am this not a happy ape anymore. Like you guys right are gonna incur right my wrath. Even you up there in the tower. Especially idea. all of you back there. All right. Just <sighs> a freaking furious monkey on the prowl. Because these people don't give a crap. Never turn your back. Doing all, I'm just gonna go slow then. You guys wanna be jerks. Ooh, they got a basketball court. Maybe it's not gonna be so bad after all. Probably will, considering they all have giant guns and they just branded me with a number, but my favorite sport is one cage away. Dude. Uh, the language! Um, I do really like uh, the fact that they, like, instead of just doing like a license thing based on the movie, they were able to do their own story. I think that's really cool. And, and talking to devs, like, that brought them a lot of, you know, passion and enjoyment because they got to work on something completely original, which is very cool. And it's nice that Fox didn't force them to, like, hey, make it just like the movie. And I think that's probably why the game is cooler than it would have been. Okay, we done? It's just a door. I don't, don't want to get branded again, so I'm not touching it. I would like to touch that ball, though. They are so not nice here. All right, on to the next one. Got through the little prologue there, and now, where will they put us? If you want to check out the game for yourself, there's a link in the description below. It's available now on, uh, on I think, everything. Oculus, Vive, and PSVR. I've actually used Oculus the most. I think I've had the most fun with it. Um, other games I've played, as you guys have seen on the channel. Come here now. Whoa! You don't have to use your words like that. We could be friends. I'm 139. Samson. Your IQ is half of this. 
Samson, on the other hand, that guy is my kind of guy. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Jeez. He's gonna shoot him. God. Uh. Poor Samson. You're a stupid night, night. space marine looking jerk. Don't like you. You're Devon's now. But soon you'll be mine. And I can't wait to put a bullet Okay, in no. Block it. Head. Block it. Yep, you shot the hand. Sorry. Talk to the hand, tase the hand. Trank the hand. Not gonna work on me. This new one's got DNA from Genesis Labs. A perfect match for the original group that escaped San Francisco. Ooh. Sanga's 108, 109. But interesting. 139 was picked up just south of Santa Cruz. Mm. Shut it down. Shut it down. Time's up. Time's up. We are the most specialist of all the apes. And that is going to lead to our great escape. I hope at Reminder least. All okay, Acquiring so it's definitely the monkeys that are drawing the humans so freaking tall, like they're storks. What's up, dude? Who are you? Escape. Yeah, let's go. I want to get climbing again. All right, I distract the guard. And you'll steal the key. Okay, we can do that. Okay, beat my chest, like literally? Yeah? Oh, dang, okay. All right, Ape Simulator 2018, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay, these touch controllers aren't the softest. They're not the softest. All right, it's a distraction. Okay, phew. They heard us. They heard us. Good plan, buddy. Wait here. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. Everybody, shut up! You just fucking love those trank darts, don't hey. you? Hey. Ooh. That was a quick KO, buddy. This dude is going straight UFC after he gets out of here. That was like an insta kill. Golden gun banana arm buddy. Hey. Okay. Thanks, man. Sweet. Yeah, haul up you, okay? Let's go. The rain falls fast. And we've got to get out of here. Bye, buddy. All right, we're following him? Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. Turn the corner. Looks like we're getting to do some climbing. I think it'd be really fun if there was like a multiplayer climb mode, like just racing and stuff, where there was like risks. I was like, you could fall. Um, or maybe some like platforms like disappeared or vanished. There's some sort of like time mechanic. I don't know, I just think that'd be so freaking sweet. Okay, I gotta like grab here, pull up. I love that like pull up mechanic. Like that you're actually, you know, uh, like again, like that you, you sense your weight. They do such a good job of getting that like kinetic feel, that, that actual weight there. Per base command. Which I think is what makes First this game for stand out. Work is to seek intelligence <sighs> relating to and then you actually get to like reach. Cause like even if you don't care about Planet of the Apes, and even if you're not impressed that the game does look pretty darn good, like this, where you actually get to like navigate and it, I don't know, like, I don't, I'm still just super impressed by how seamless this is, how well it's done, and coming from like a, technically a licensed property, like, freaking cool. Wait till you see them wield guns. Ah, it's reaching right out of the screen there. Where are we going? Okay. Also, my arms are so strong and so hairy, two things they're not in real life. I've got chicken arms in real life, and now I've got freaking amazing pull-up strength as an ape. So, ape world has, has rewarded me well. My twigs have turned into branches. I've gone from baby Groot to full-on Groot, all thanks to my ape. All right, Gr whoa. I don't even know where I am. Whoa, I'm in the pole. Okay, he's gonna say. Don't know where I am in real space, and for a second I didn't know where I was in ape space. All right, let's go. And again, I want you guys to know that like my my what I'm playing with is so small right now, like the the space, and it still is working. Head inside object. Okay, that's not good. You don't don't ever put your head inside an object. All right. Anyhow, uh, the space I'm working with is small, and yet the tracking still works super well. Um, I'm probably using like the minimum space, like a 
I don't know what, like a four by four square. And I know some people have a huge room and I've had the chance to play VR in that way, but it's just like not practical for the most part, especially in an apartment or, or an office or whatever. So I like the fact that it still works. So well, yeah, you're gonna see the barrier and the boundary, but like that's cool with me um, because it doesn't really distract from the experience. It just lets me know that I'm, you know, about to break something and I don't wanna do that. But the game still recognizes everything very, very well. I think I'm very turned around. Um, where am I going? Oh, we're going up, okay. I hope I'm still in the camera shot. It's the hardest thing about recording VR. I have no clue where I am unless I take off the headset <laughs> frequently, which I don't want to do because it breaks the immersion. And I love feeling like I'm climbing. I love that you get to use your freaking hands and tacks like grab on, pull up, pull down, pull up. I want like a racing climbing game, either in this world or some other world. I think that'd be so cool. All right, run. Over here. Uh, 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 uh. Some people might be like, ooh, it's annoying to have to do this constantly. I find it super fun. It's not like exhausting in any way. Again, I'm kind of a chicken arm man, and it doesn't, like, it's not hard at all. It's just fun. All right, grab it. Ooh, we're going to really stretch here. Oh, there we go. What a grab, monkey. What a grab. All right, let's kind of, like, swing ourselves forward and down. Nicely Reminder, done. The base is under curfew between midnight and 0600. Quick grab, quick climb, quick climb, quick climb, quick, 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 and sh oh god, no, grab it, whew, almost broke my little monkey feet, I think I broke my hand, it's definitely not the right way, okay, I'm sorry, reorient that hand, and let's try to do this a little more carefully, I got carried away going real fast, although that was fun, it was dangerous. And what the heck is going on in there? I think that's a pretty good stopping point. Hopefully that gives you a good taste of what it's like to be an ape again. I haven't played VR in probably like nine months, probably since I moved from LA actually. And this game grabbed me and got me back in and it is a lot of fun. I love how active it is. That's so important to me in games. You're always doing something God of War. You're always doing something Mario Odyssey. So it's only fitting that VR has a chance to do that as well. And I love that you're always doing something in Christ of the Planet of the Apes. It keeps you going. It keeps you invested. And I think you guys should definitely check it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you played the game, uh, if you're planning on picking it up, let me know. Again, it's available for Oculus, Vive, and PSVR. I love you. I'll see you soon. I think I'm a pretty good ape, but let me know what you think. Until next time, drink some chocolate. Thanks again. And we'll see you all later.